Dear faithful, we celebrate today Our Lady of Czestochowa, and she is the patroness of Poland, that nation which has had to suffer uh, during the centuries very, very much because it has been constantly overrun by other countries coming both east and from the west. And not only they have had to, the Poles had to suffer persecution because of their birth, but they have also had to suffer persecution because of their Catholic faith being there right in the middle between Protestantism in the West and Orthodoxy in the East. But they have had powerful protector in Our Lady of Czestochowa. And her other name is Black Madonna. And she received this uh, nickname because the original portrait uh, of hers which you see uh, a copy there on, on Our Lady's uh, corner. is original painting in, is uh, kind of uh, covered with a uh, suit, and uh, that comes from the centuries of burning votive candles in front of this holy image. And the origin of this painting is so very uh, good and beautiful because it was painted by Saint Luke the Evangelist. When she was posing to Saint Luke, Our Lady told him all those great and beautiful stories about our Lord's childhood and the events in, uh, during his uh, birth, which we know so well from the Christmas Gospels. And uh, that painting has been the, uh, the great object of veneration for all the generation of Catholics throughout the centuries. But it has also been the powerful, powerful protector of Catholics. When St. Helena made her famous pilgrimage to St. Jerusalem, she found not only the Holy Cross, but this beautiful portrait of a Black Madonna too. And she gave that to her son, Constantine, which, who then enshrined it in the church in Constantinople. And when la in later centuries, Constantinople was attacked by Muslims, this image and Our Lady's intercession saved the city from being overrun. Later on, when the image was transferred to the West, it protected the Eastern European nations, and it also proved, very, uh, proved itself to be very constant. In, uh, for example, in 1400s, the Hussites, who were early Protestant heretics, overrun Poland and attacked the monastery where this image was kept. And one of the Hussites uh, struck the painting twice with his sword, and he was just about to hit it for the third time when he suddenly fell to the floor and died. And during other events also, when Poland was threatened either by Muslims or by Protestants, this portrait of Our Lady and Christ Child, the Black Madonna, protected the whole Polish nation. So it has become a symbol of Polish national unity and the Poles a great loyalty to the Holy Catholic faith. And she, Our Lady of Czestochowa, has been proclaimed Queen of Poland because the whole nation is under uh, her protection. And the miraculous protection does not end in the past centuries. About a hundred years ago, the communists of Russia, they were threatening to invade Poland 
and they were already at the gates of Warsaw, the capital, and they were just about to conquer the city when they saw an image of Mary right there in the clouds over the city, and they withdrew, they withdrew and did no harm for that great capital of Poland. Dear faithful, we are also under the mantle of Mary, who could threaten us if we have such a powerful mother. When you look at her images, know that this portrait of Our Lady of Czestochowa, it originates all the way to the times of the apostles. Just like the Catholic Church has survived all the centuries and persecution after persecution, also Our Lady has been there right with us all the way from our Lord and from the apostles to our days as well. We are just as much her dear children as the generation of old her were. When you look at her and you call her a mother, she is your mother, she is your her protectress, and you can look confidently in the future as well. If you are ever troubled by the events of the world, politics or economy or crises in the church, just look at Our Lady. She has protected throughout the centuries and she will continue to protect us and all her children right until the end of times. May God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.